This is a Hyma B-Class master line. This is the BML I-780. And if you've been around the channel for a little while, you might be thinking, well, you've had one of those on the channel before. And you'd be absolutely right. But there are a couple of options on this one and a slightly different layout that I'd like to show you. So we're going to do the full tour. It's based on a Mercedes. It's got the 177 horsepower engine and it's about 7.8 meters long, just shy, 7.79 very smart looking vehicle especially in this metallic silver it looks really good and interestingly this one's left hand drive you can see the steering wheel here and so it's right next to the door which is nice but yeah that is a nice looking machine especially with the black alloy wheels let's have a wander around i'll give you a tour of the outside and then we'll head in and i'll show you that as well this is interesting because if i open this You've got the gas bottles, which in itself is not fascinating, but what is, is this little chap here. Because what this does is it allows you to fill those gas bottles rather than change them. You can actually fill them through there. That's very clever. We press on back a bit further. That one there. Is a big storage area, goes right across the whole vehicle. And then we'll come on back a bit more. Water filler is there. And the garage is back here. And we've got over carpets in here. We've also got one of the ladders in here as well. And a bit more storage. But another thing I wanted to show you is in here, but on the other side. So let's wander over there. And I will explain. Reversing camera on this one too. Tow bar as well. And the Mercedes logo. But if we look in here... There's a shower in this one, which is excellent. If you've been out swimming or basically getting muddy, you can shower yourself off. Brilliant for cleaning bikes and that sort of stuff before we put them away. But I wanted to show you this chap because if we release that, that there is self-leveling. So it's actually got self-leveling jacks and they're controlled from here. You can control them automatically or hit the manual button and control them yourselves. But the idea of this is it's a remote control. You can come out here and you can then control them and watch the vehicle settle. You can see one of them is right down there. It's got four of those and that allows you to level the vehicle. But that's a really neat way of doing it. Let's pop that back the right way around. There we go, that lives in there. Huge awning on this one. You've got 240 volt hookup, of course, the cassette for the toilet, and that's the other side of the pass through that we saw on the other side. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, let's head on in. So, bin just inside the door, and then there's a button somewhere. Here it is. Hit that one, powers the step out, and in we go. So we'll head on forward. That's the door we saw on the outside. And as you can see, even clearer from here, this one's left-hand drive. Fabulous for touring in Europe, of course. Um, it's got the latest MBUX system for navigation and uh, music and all that kind of stuff. Telephone, all controlled from there. Air conditioning is controlled from there as well. Uh, these seats swivel, as you would imagine. You've also got, there's a big blind that comes up here. So for privacy at night, that's what that fella there is. And of course, you've got them on the side as well. They come out just here. I love some of the finishes in here. I love things like this. And you can see it down on here as well. It's really nicely done. Up here, you have got the heating system. You've got that one there. Heats the regulator for the gas bottle. So that if you're somewhere really, really cold, it stops the gas from freezing. Um, that was the monitoring system. So you can turn on the whole of the electrics for the accommodation here, on and off. Water pumps controlled from here. And this is giving you things like your battery condition for your engine battery, your leisure battery, and then uh, levels for your uh, water tank and your waste tank. So that's all controlled from there. And then that closes down across it like so. And the other thing that we have up at this end of the vehicle is an entire bed, because if we drop this one down and to release it like how to do it <laughs> there we go that's got it it's easier with two hands that's done it that drops down like that 
And that then is a big double bed. In fact, that will drop down lower, but because the seats are in the way, it's as low as we can get it. What you do with those is you flick the little catch on the side, drop the backrest flat, bring that all the way down. But you get the idea, big double bed in there, and that's what that ladder we saw was for. So that gives you access straight up into there. You've got little reading lights in there. There we go, that clips up like so. Another thing I want to show you is this table, which is brilliant because it expands. Now this is virtually impossible to do one-handed. <laughs> so I had a little demo earlier, which hopefully you are now looking at, and that will just explain how that expands and how it goes away again. As I say, with two hands, it's dead easy. With one hand and a GoPro, a little bit more of a challenge, but that's really nice. Again, it's another upgrade for this particular vehicle. Seating all the way around here, there are seat belts underneath here so you can travel with four people also there's a tv in here there we go it's tucked away down there i think it's a 32 inch and that rises up so that you can watch that from this area brilliant you can sit in these chairs here watch tv even the evening very nice indeed big opening windows as you'd expect but also skylights up above and blinds again that come across these like so that was a bug screen and that one is a night screen there is storage all the way around in places like this and loads of power sockets. So these are your 240 volt sockets, but also USB sockets as well. Very useful these days, of course. Kitchen area is here. Love some of the surfaces they've done on here. That looks really, really good. You've got the hob here, three burner, and then you've got the oven and the grill underneath. Sinkers underneath that one. that is another little drainer. It's neat, isn't it? And the fridge is over there. This is one of these clever fridges because you can open it, as you might expect. But if you're sat here and want to grab yourself a drink, then you open it that way. Cool, huh? Same with the freezer. Bit more storage up above, like so. Some really funky lighting as well. Look at where they put it up in places like this. You can see it as well around the floor, floor level lighting. Very subtle, very nice. Looks really, really good. If we head on back down this way a little bit further, there's a spice rack or we're going to use that for. Like so. And then we've got back here, towards on this side. Let's find a light switch, shall we? There we go, that's better. Again, funky lighting down underneath the mirror and that sort of stuff. And these lovely surfaces, really nice. And they've kept the shower completely separate to there. So that is like that, but the shower is over here. Like so. Also in here, Habitat air conditioning. So obviously you've got air conditioning up in the cab when the vehicle is running, but when you're parked, you can run air conditioning from there as well. And then this door will actually fit perfectly into that gap. And that gives you privacy from the rest of the vehicle. If you just want to come in here and use the loo, have a shower, get dressed, that sort of thing, you can close this whole area off. Brilliant. And the final thing, I'm pretty sure the other one I showed you had the double bed back here. This one has got the two singles. But in fact, there is an infill there so that if you want a double, that is where that would be goes into here, double bed. And you might think, well, then you can't access these steps because the bed is here. But in actual fact, what you can do is pull these fillers out. Again, <laughs> like most things, it's easier with two hands. There we go. So even when that's in place, you can still step up and onto there. Really good. A lot of thought going into this one. That's it. And then finally, you've got, again, more storage tucked away up in places like this. Around the back, you've got reading lights in here as well. More opening windows and skylight. More storage. Light switches for this area in here, so you don't have to get out of bed to turn the lights on and off. Very nice indeed. Very comfortable. Lovely. As I mentioned, with left-hand drive, taking this into Europe and spending a couple of months going down Europe would be brilliant, wouldn't it? And the only thing I didn't show you actually is over here because the other extra this one's got 
I think it's normally a little seat here, but what they've done with this is put a little sideboard in here. However, <laughs> job number four that requires two hands, but let's have a go. If we pull that little catch there, we should be able to slide that fella out. There we go. And now we've got another little seating area or a footstool or whatever we use that for. Very good indeed. So there we are. Let me know what you think of that one. Huge thanks to the Irwin Heimer Centre for organising that tour. Massive thanks to you all for watching. We'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye. And you'd be right, but there's a couple of interesting options on this one and a slightly different layout. So I thought it's worth shooting and bringing it along for you guys to have a look at. I'll wait for the siren to go past and then we'll do it again. <laughs>